Have you ever wondered how the course of our world's history has been shaped by the outcomes of battles fought long ago? A single clash of arms, a solitary decision, a moment of bravery, or even a simple twist of fate, have often dictated the course of our civilization. Let's embark on a journey that explores these historical battles, the very crucibles where the fate of nations was forged. These battlefields have witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the birth of legends, and the shaping of our collective history. They've borne testament to the courage, the strategy, and the might of countless warriors. From the heroic stand of the Greeks at Thermopylae, to the decisive Norman conquest at Hastings, from the end of Napoleon's reign at Waterloo, to the world-changing battles of the World Wars, each encounter has a story to tell, a lesson to impart. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of historical battles, from their inception to their profound impact on the course of history. Our journey begins in 490 BC in the plains of Marathon, a place where the Azure Mediterranean met the verdant lands of Attica, Greece. It's here where one of the most pivotal battles in history took place, the Battle of Marathon. This was not just a conflict between two powers, but a clash of cultures. On one side, the mighty Persian Empire, a force that boasted of its vast territories and formidable army. On the other, the city-states of Greece, with Athens and Plataea standing firm against the Persian onslaught. The Greeks, outnumbered four to one, had to rely on their wits and courage. Miltiades, the Athenian general, was at the helm. He devised a brilliant plan, using the phalanx, a formation of heavily armed foot soldiers, or hoplites, to hold the center while the stronger Greek wings encircled the Persians. The Persians, confident of their numbers, charged. But the Greeks, with their superior tactics and ironclad resolve, held their ground. The center lured the Persians in, and then the wings closed around them. It was a move that caught the Persians off guard and led to their downfall. The Greeks won the day, driving the Persians back to their ships. The Battle of Marathon was a significant victory for the Greeks, not only in terms of the Greco-Persian Wars, but also in shaping Western civilization. It was a triumph of the democratic city-states over the monarchical Persians, a victory that marked the beginning of a golden age in Greece. It accentuated the importance of strategy over sheer numbers and highlighted the indomitable spirit of the Greeks. This battle inspired future military leaders and even gave birth to the marathon race, commemorating the run of a soldier from the battlefield to Athens to deliver the news of victory. The Battle of Marathon, a true testament to the bravery and tactical genius of the Greeks, set a precedent for battles to come. Fast forward to the year 1066, we find ourselves in the midst of one of the most significant battles in British history. Picture a time when the fate of a kingdom hinged on the outcome of a single battle. This was the Battle of Hastings, the climax of the Norman conquest of England. The Battle of Hastings was more than just a clash of swords and shields. It was a battle of wits, tactics, and sheer will. On one side, we had the English army, led by the newly crowned King Harold Godwinson, on the other side, the Normans, led by Duke William, later known as William the Conqueror. King Harold's army was weary from a previous battle and a forced march south. They adopted a defensive position on Senlac Hill, forming a shield wall, a tactic commonly used by the Anglo-Saxons. Meanwhile, Duke William's forces were fresh and ready for battle. The Normans used a combination of infantry, archers and cavalry, a novel strategy in English warfare. They also employed a feigned retreat tactic, drawing the English out of their strong defensive position and into the open where they were more vulnerable. The battle raged on for an entire day, but ultimately, the Normans' innovative tactics and fresher forces won out. King Harold was killed, the English forces were defeated, and Duke William took the throne, becoming William the Conqueror. The consequences of this battle were far-reaching. The Normans brought with them a new culture and societal structure, forever altering the fabric of English society. The English language was infused with French influences, the feudal system was introduced and the construction of castles became widespread, changing the landscape both physically and metaphorically. The Battle of Hastings, a turning point in English history, forever changed the landscape of the British Isles. It's a stark reminder that a single day's events can echo through the ages, shaping the course of history for centuries to come. Come 1815 we encounter a battle that marked the end of an era and the downfall of a formidable ruler. The Battle of Waterloo, a monumental clash that took place on June 18th of that year, is etched deeply into the annals of history. This was the battlefield where the final act of Napoleon Bonaparte's rule played out, 
a theater of war that saw the end of the Napoleonic era. In this battle, the French, led by the indomitable Napoleon, faced two allied forces, the British, under the seasoned command of the Duke of Wellington, and the Prussian army, led by Field Marshal Gebhard Leberecht von Blücher. It was a confrontation built on a web of strategic decisions, each with its own implications. Napoleon, known for his military genius, hoped to split the two allied armies and overpower them separately. However, his plans were hindered by various factors, including the muddy terrain caused by heavy rain, which delayed his attack, and the staunch resilience of the British and Prussian forces. Despite the initial success of the French forces, the tide turned when the Prussian army, initially driven off the battlefield, returned to join the British. This joint force proved too much for Napoleon's army. The French were defeated, and Napoleon was captured and sent into exile for the second and final time. The Battle of Waterloo didn't just mark the end of Napoleon's rule, it had far-reaching effects on European politics. It led to the reorganization of European borders and the establishment of the Congress of Vienna, aiming for a balance of power to prevent future large-scale wars. In the grand scheme of things the Battle of Waterloo was more than just a military confrontation, it was a historical pivot, a turning point that changed the course of Europe. It marked the end of the French domination of the European continent, and the beginning of a new era of relative peace and stability. The Battle of Waterloo, a battle that sealed the fate of Napoleon Bonaparte, reshaped the political map of Europe. While these battles may seem distant and unrelated, they share a common thread. Each conflict, each clash of arms has left an indelible mark on the pages of human history. They have shaped nations, altered cultures and sparked revolutions, influencing the trajectory of our shared human journey. Let's take a moment to recap. We began our journey at the dawn of historical battles, where we saw how conflict was an integral part of human civilization. From the Greek stand, we learned the power of unity and strategic planning, where a smaller force, through determination and clever tactics, stood against a formidable opponent. The Norman conquest on the other hand, demonstrated the ripple effects of a single battle across continents. It changed the course of English history forever, influencing its language, culture and governance. Fast forward to the end of Napoleon's rule, we observe the fall of a great empire, a testament to the transient nature of power and the consequences of hubris. But what do these battles tell us about our present and our future? They remind us that history is a great teacher, it provides us with patterns, lessons and insights that can guide our actions and decisions. The study of these battles is not merely an academic exercise, it is a compass, helping us navigate the complexities of our contemporary world. It underscores the importance of diplomacy over warfare, of understanding over conflict, and of unity over division. These battles also remind us that the human spirit is resilient. Despite the adversities, societies have rebuilt, cultures have evolved and civilizations have flourished. They show us that, even in the midst of conflict there is always room for hope, for transformation, and for progress. As we journey through the annals of history, we realize that the echoes of these battles still reverberate in our world today, shaping the course of our collective human narrative.